Hello, welcome to the e-learning module. Sound control, pause script and double click to hide. Hello and welcome to this training program on bulk material handling. My name is Aditi and I am going to be your trainer. Bulk material handling is an engineering field that is centered on transporting materials from one or several locations to an ultimate destination. Materials can range from very fine dusty chemicals to large lump ore, stone, coal, or pulp for loss. Among the various bulk material handling equipment, belt conveyors have attained a dominant position in transporting bulk materials due to inherent advantages such as their economy, safety of operation, reliability, versatility, and practically unlimited range of capacities. In this introductory module, you will learn about conveyor belt systems. The module aims at introducing you to the various aspects of conveyor belt systems to give you a strong base for the upcoming modules. This module will enable you to describe what a conveyor belt system is, explain trough conveyor and pipe conveyor belt systems, describe the general arrangements of a belt conveyor. Let us now formally begin this module and understand what do we mean by a conveyor belt system. Belt conveyors are widely used for transportation of coal, coke, iron ore, ore fines, sitter, pellet, limestone, flux and additives. There are two types of conveyor belts that are widely used in steel plants. These include trough conveyor and pipe conveyor. Let's explore each of these in detail over the next few screens. Trough conveyors are conventional belt conveyor where the belt is trough of angles 30 degree, 35 degree and 45 degree. This is a representation of trough conveyor. Click on the play button to start the conveyor belt. Click on the pause button to stop the conveyor belt. Click on the label button to know its pass.
Next, let's learn about pipe conveyor. This is a representation of pipe conveyor. Click on the play button to start the conveyor belt. Pipe conveyor belts are used when bulk materials have to be conveyed along horizontal and vertical curves in restricted spaces. The belt, the belt in this system, system flattens itself at the loading and discharge stages after, after it takes a pipe shape during its forward or return runs. Idlers are arranged in the form of hexagonal array. Pipe conveyor is designed to handle materials ecologically that causes severe pollution to the environment and working area. Now that, now that you know what a conveyor belt, belt is and the two, and the two main, main conveyor belts used in the sea plants, let's move, let's move ahead, ahead and learn about, about the general arrangement of the conveyor belts. belts. Let's, begin let's begin with the head pulley. The discharge, the discharge end of the conveyor the where the material is transferred to another conveyor, conveyor is called the head, the head end. The pulley, the pulley in this end is called the head pulley. In most, in most of, the of the cases, the drive, the drive is attached to the head end of the pulley. Head pulley, head pulley therefore, designed, designed to be stronger and bigger than the other pulleys. Head pulley, head pulley is rubber or ceramic lag to increase, to increase the friction, friction between, between the bend and, and the pulley. The pulley, the pulley which is situated, which is situated at, the at the receiving end of the conveyor is called a tail, tail pulley. Sometimes, Sometimes screw, screw take-up take will, will be situated in this pulley. In this, pulley. This, pulley this pulley can be shifted by, by tightening or loosening the screw take-up. Take Snap pulleys, Snap pulleys are incorporated into the design, into the design of a conveyor to increase, to increase the, the angle of lag of, of the belt on the drive pulley. pulley. The greater, the greater lag, lag angle on the pulley allows it to take more power without slip uttering into the belt as it passes, as it passes around, around the drive pulley. pulley. In, this In this way, we can handle, we can handle larger loads on the same conveyor. conveyor.
Next, Next we, have we have the scrapers. The function, the function of scraper is to clean the material that gets, that gets stuck, on the, stuck on the belt while conveying it. it. Generally, Generally, two scrapers, two scrapers one, one primary, primary scraper and another secondary, secondary together, together do this. Do this. Most widely used scraper blade tip material is polyurethane and tungsten carbide. Let's look, Let's at, look at the feed plow scraper in detail, in detail to better to understand, understand scrapers. scrapers. V plow internal belt scraper is designed for fitment on the upper side of the return belt. Its function is to protect stain and take up pulleys from material buildup. It deflects the material sticking on the upper surface of the return belt. The V plow protects the conveyor belt from puncture damage. Its three-point suspension keeps the plow parallel to the belt. The blade of the scraper can be easily swapped when it's, when it's one side, one side is, worn. is worn. Let us now, Let us learn, now learn about idlers. idlers. Idlers, Idlers are needed, are needed to give proper, proper support, support to the conveyor as well as, as, well as the material on the conveyor. An, an endless, endless conveyor belt in a conveyor structure is pulled from, from the tail pulley to the head pulley or drive, drive pulley. At tail, at tail pulley, the material, the material is loaded onto, onto the conveyor and at, and the, head at the head pulley, the material, the material is, discharged. is discharged. Between, Between the conveyor tail, tail and head pulley, the carrying, the carrying and return strand belting is supported on either set. The, the roles are fitted, are fitted with anti-friction anti bearings, with seals, and with adequate, and with adequate lubrication, lubrication packed into it. it. The friction, the friction between, between the roller surface, surface and the belt, and the belt makes, the makes the rollers to rotate, to rotate and thus, and thus Material, material is transferred from one point, from one point to, to another through belt, belt conveyor. There are, there are mainly four types, four types of idlers. Of idlers. These are A. A troughing, troughing idler, B. B. Training, training idler, C. C. Impact, impact idler, idler, D. D. Return, return idler. idler. A chute, a chute is a sloping, is a sloping channel, channel or slide for conveying things to a lower, lower level. Chutes are, chutes are generally of two types, of two types. feed chute and, and discharge chute. Feed chute, feed chute is, is used, used for feeding, feeding the material in the belt. In the belt. It is situated it is near the tail pulley. pulley. Discharge, discharge chute is used for discharge of the material. Of the material. It, is it is situated near the head pulley. pulley. Once, the, Once rate the rate of feed is determined, is determined and set, speed, speed and, placement and placement of material on the belt are controlled, are controlled by the loading, by the loading chute and skirt, and skirt board. board. The chute's, the chute's width must be, must be greater enough, enough to accept the material lying of extreme edges of the preceding belt feeder because, because material, material coming from a preceding belt usually has substantial velocity. There is a there choice, is a choice of, positions of positions for the receiving end of the, end of the chute. Of the chute. On the, on the screen, you can see the setup, see the setup of, a of a chute. Click, Click on, the on the label button to know, to know about, about its, its parts. Click on, Click the, on the highlighted parts to know about, to know about them. them. Having, having delivered material in the succeeding, succeeding belt, belt the, chute the chute has no further control of the material. To have, to have control, control on loading turbulence, the skirt, the skirt board is provided.
The take-up take device, device is used to create and maintain adequate, adequate pretension to, to allow the conveyor drive pulley to, to drive the belt under, under all, all running conditions, conditions whether, whether empty, empty or loaded. Or loaded. There, are there are two main types, main types of take-up. Take One, One, screw type. Screw type. Two, two, gravity, gravity take-up. Let, Let us discuss each of these in detail, detail over, the over the next few screens. screens. The screw, screw take-up take is, is normally used on short conveyors up to a up length, length of 50, 50 meters. The length, the length of the, of the take up depends on both, on both the center to center distance of head and tail pulleys and, and the type of belt. The screw, the screw take up on shorter belts is normally located at the tail end. end. The, operation the operation of screw take up is manual. Is manual. Next, Next is the gravity, is the gravity take-up. Take up. Gravity, gravity take-up take works with a counterweight counter that hangs freely with a take-up pulley. Bend, bend pulleys direct belt to take-up take pulley. Take-up take pulley, take pulley and, and counterweight both, both have guided, guided motion in upwards, upwards and downwards, and downwards direction under gravity. Under gravity. This keeps, this keeps belt, belt in proper tension, tension just, just before, before drive, drive pulley. pulley. Thus, Thus, chances, chances of belt slip, slip eliminates. eliminates. The gravity, the gravity take-up take is adequately guarded, guarded for safety. Action, Action of gravity take-up take is automatic. automatic. Gravity, gravity take-up take provides sufficient travel, travel to handle, to handle any elastic length changes due to, due to load, load variation or temperature changes and, and inelastic changes likely, likely to occur between, between refastening and, and replacing. Now that, now that you have completed the module, the module it's, time it's time for you to check, you to check your, your knowledge by answering these questions. questions.